Broadcasting live from Odoban's World Manufacturing Headquarters in wonderful Warner Robins, Georgia, you're watching The, the Odo, Odo Show. Show. I'm Val. And I'm Dave, and we have a really special episode for you guys this week. This is going to be a little different from what we normally do. We've got a big announcement at the end of this that you're going to help us with. We want you to stick around for that. Now, I hope you guys are aware that October is Breast Cancer Awareness, Awareness Month. Now, cancer is a really important topic to all of us here at Odoban because all of us have been affected by it in one way or another, some of us more directly than others. That's true. I've, I've taken a front row seat to it. Yeah, I know you're a survivor, and mm -hmm. since this is Awareness Month, I was hoping that maybe you'd want to share some of your story with our Odo family here. I'd, I'd be happy to. Fantastic. So, okay, uh, I know you're a survivor. How long uh, have you got now? Um, I am a 17-year survivor. Wow. I'll be 18 years in May, so I'm so coming up on that. So 18 years, that means both of your girls were still fairly young when you were diagnosed, That's right? That's right. I was 38 when I was diagnosed, and I had a 5-year-old and a 15-month-old. Oh, wow. So, that's, yeah. So that's got to be a handful, having having to deal with cancer treatment and uh, and two youngins. And, and yeah, being a full-time mom there. Yeah, it, it was really tough because, I mean, you know, you're transitioning from, you know, taking care of small children and they're your main priority and all of a sudden you're forced to have to make yourself a priority and you know how do you make sure that your children are taken care of yeah. at the same time so it, it was it was kind of rough well how how did you explain that to them that, that you've got this thing that you're going to have to go through well you know obviously the the toddler i didn't have to you know really right. do so much but um but yeah sydney she was five years old mm -hmm. at the time and unfortunately she kind of had the concept of what cancer was because we lost my father a year and a half earlier mm. and they were very close. Wow. So, you know, I know that she was, you know, connecting cancer with death. Mm. And, That's scary, yeah. And I didn't want her to do that. Yeah. So, you know, I took her out for a walk um, around our neighborhood and I just had this conversation with her and I really don't know where, you know, the words came from. But, you know, I just told her that I was not going to leave her um, I was still going to be around and that, you know, I was going to be losing my hair. I was mm -hmm. going to feel sick and, and all that. And I, but I, I stressed and emphasized to her that, you know, it was the medicine that was ultimately going to make me better that, you know, was making me sick. It wasn't the cancer itself. You know, that's an interesting uh, uh, distinction for a kid that I, I can't say I've ever really thought about is that it's the medicine that's the reason you're sick, not the disease. Right, right. And like I said, I don't know where all that came from, but, but you know, I, I'm glad that, you know, we had that conversation and she was, she was good with that. And then I told her, I said, well, you know, here's, here's the thing, you know, when I lose my hair, mm -hmm. let's do something fun. And I said, you can take your markers and decorate my head. <laughs> wait, wait, wait. So you, you let her draw on your head when you finally lost your hair? Yeah, I did. I did. Only and you, Val. You, you know, that's the only thing that child took away from that conversation. <laughs> it was, I get to decorate mom's head. Kids. So it was, when are you going to be bald? When are you losing your hair? <laughs> so it was, a, yeah, okay, I can see that. So <laughs> 18 years ago, so it's been some time. Yeah. But I know, I'm sure you dealt with different charities and awareness programs and that sort of thing when you were going through this, mm -hmm. but what was the most helpful thing that you experienced as a patient doing that battle? You know, I honestly feel like it was more of the hands-on things that were done for me. Um, I had a very dear friend named Jan Moffat. I hope Jan's watching. Um, she took Lauren, my toddler, mm -hmm. she would take her for the day and just let me relax and you know, rest and heal and, you know, concentrate on myself. And, you know, that alone was just a huge thing. Yeah. And, uh, you know, it just, it, it really helped a lot. And I'm just so thankful for that. And so I said we had a big announcement and a big project coming up here. Val's experience is what led us to this. You know, at Odoban, like I said, cancer has touched all of us in some manner. And we know it's touched a lot of you guys too. And wearing pink, well, I mean, this is great, but 
let's do something else. We yeah. wanted to come up with a way to help that was boots on the ground, that actually made a difference in people's lives the way Val's friend made a difference for her taking care of her kids. So we went out and found a charity. It's called Cleaning for a Reason. These guys are great. What they do is organize house cleaning for people that are cancer patients that are going through treatments. That's right. You know, they started out doing uh, house cleaning for women with breast cancer, mm -hmm. but they've now grown to where it's for all adults for all types of cancer. They've so really, really spread awesome. out. And they cover all of the U.S. and Canada, and what they do is they find local professional cleaning services and they put them together with local people going through cancer treatments to actually come in and do house cleaning. Now this is something that's really unique. Uh, it sort of ties our industry in and we think it's a really unique concept. I think it's, I think it's a beautiful marriage. It together. is. Uh, and you know, they started in 2006 and it was um, Debbie, Sardone. Debbie Sardone started mm -hmm. this in Texas and they in 2017 became an ISSA charity. Now, if you don't know ISSA, that is the Worldwide Cleaning, Worldwide Cleaning Industry Association. And so it's an association we're a member of, but it's not actually a charity that we were aware of through ISSA. We actually found them looking for somebody that was making a real difference in the lives of cancer patients. That's right. ISSA only has three charities that they back, so you know that this company really is a, a good They're good doing the work. Now, on their website, they say that they've helped over 37,000 patients since their inception. And they also have 1,200 partner cleaning services that actually do the work, all out of the, their hearts. Yep, and they have donated over $12 million in cleaning services since they started. Now, you may be asking yourself, this sounds really cool, but I said we were going to do something, mm -hmm. as in us and you. So yes. you may be wondering we. what we are going to do. So here's the plan. We've partnered with Cleaning for a Reason to put together an Odaban specific donation page on their website. If you go to their main page, it's cleaningforareason.org and there is a Odoban logo and link there that'll take you to the donation page. That's right. And if you look in the comments section, you'll find that there is a direct a direct link that will take you to that site. Straight to the donation page. So what we want to do is for every dollar that you guys donate on that Odoban link, we are going to do a dollar for dollar match to this charitable organization up to a $2,000 limit. So we are working for a goal of $2,000 from us and from you for them. Now, Money's great, but really the point of us doing this with the it's live show awareness. is spreading awareness. We want to tell people about this great charity that's really doing something concrete. Because I really wish I would have known about it, but you know, of course it was far further back, but it's so, yeah. you know, if there would have been something like that, that it's, would have been awesome. It's such a cool thing. So we want you guys to help us tell other people about this charity. So we're offering a bounty on a, on your sharing this uh, to your friends. So for every person that tags one of their friends in our comments, we're going to throw in another $2. For every new subscription we get on YouTube, we're going to kick in another $2. $2. We want you guys to help us spread the news and raise the money. Now we're going to do this for a week. We're going to leave these donation pages open a week. You guys can kick this around the internet, bring as many of your friends here to tag their friends as you can so we can really drive this number up. Yeah, really make sure that they come back and they actually share that their friends or tag their friends on our page. That's what's going to drive these donations for us. And then as part of our big Halloween special next week, we're going to, uh, to come back to that. Now there's something besides just money and awareness too. You know, we mentioned the 1,200 cleaning agencies, right? Right, right. Well, obviously, there are cancer patients nationwide all over Canada, and so there's always a shortage in uh, people that were willing to donate their professional time to help the patients out. That's right, because 1,200 seems like a lot. It does. But, and when you're talking, you know, nationwide and also in Canada, that's not enough. It's not that's enough. It's not enough. And we know that some of you guys that join us every week run professional residential cleaning uh, companies. We want you to consider giving some of your time, doing some of your services as donations to this group. And if you're interested in doing that, private messages, direct messages, and we will connect you directly with Cleaning for a Reason and make sure that you guys can work something out there uh, that lets you donate some of your time. We would love for you guys to help us out with that. That's right. Now, I mentioned you got a week to do this. Get out there and share. Get out there and throw a few dollars in the donation bucket. Even if it's just a few bucks, we're doubling your money this week. So donate, share us, and um, 
Next week, we're going to have a big Halloween show. We're going to present a total amount of what we're going to be donating to Cleaning for a Reason. We're going to cover, what was the topic? Uh, cleaning Horror, horror stories. stories. That'll be fun. And uh, we're also going to maybe pick a few of the people that have helped us out with this donation drive to receive some, some special prizes. So we want you to come back next week. Until then, share this, drop dollars in the donation bucket, and make, make life, life fresh. fresh.